effectively at all anymore. The second thing is that I understand is we're coming out of two wars here. The war in Iraq, for us, is over. And the war in Afghanistan, we should be out of sin. Historically, when wars end, defense spending goes down. Yet Governor Romney is talking about increasing defense spending. He is talking about a plan to increase defense spending to 4% of gross national product by the end of his two terms in office. I think that's crazy. I've been reading a history of the British Empire, which points out that the height of the British Empire in the early 19th century, the British spent 2 to 3% of their national income on defense. Romney is not talking about maintaining a global empire, but is talking about spending almost twice as much as that. I just don't get it. You have a, a blog post in which you write that you're surprised that um, Mitt Romney, with not only his business sense, but his experience with Bain Capital, cutting back expenses in companies after, after Bain would acquire them, cutting them back before selling them, that he'd want to uh, uh, increase the budget in the military instead of applying the same kind of principles that he's applied to business is how can you decrease the budget? Yes, yeah, what I don't get about conservatives in America generally these days is they're not conservative at all about defense spending. They don't apply the same principles. They mock liberals for wanting to throw money at problems. Yet when you ask them about the Pentagon, the only thing that Romney and Ryan seem to say in the debates was, I'll throw money at it. I promise to throw money at it. It just doesn't strike me as a fiscally conservative approach. And they seem to almost regard, especially um, Ryan in the vice president's debate, seem to regard the military as kind of an interest group. I remember when Martha Raddatz, the moderator, uh, said she knew of an officer who felt that the election process didn't shine a good light on democracy, didn't make him feel good about the process he was defending. They kind of responded as if it was an interest group. Oh, don't worry, we're going to increase defense spending. No, that's not what he was saying. He was saying, I want to be proud of the country I'm defending. I want to feel that the sacrifices we're making out here are worth it in the political system we're preserving back home. But neither side seemed to really get that, neither uh, Ryan nor Vice President Biden in that debate. You have a lot of contacts within the military. What do they think they need in the military budget? More, less, same? Well, they're kind of all over the place, like the rest of America, generally. They like the military. They, they want to see spending. But you can find lots of people in the military who will tell you, we are not spending money effectively. We're not being efficient here. There's a lot of different ways we should approach this. Um, we need to start operating differently. But they're just so accustomed to having all this money. There's almost a sense of entitlement in a lot of military people. But I'm seeing younger officers sort of saying, this is not the way to go, and we really need to think differently about this.